eyes are on June's uncertain future in The Handmaid's Tale, but we'll have to wait until late 2022 or 2023 to watch the show's fifth season. So we think the best thing to do is speculate about June, Nick, Moira, and Luke's fate and see what they'll be doing in about 30 years from now. When the Handmaids Get Old So far, The Handmaid's Tale has given storylines about what happens when a woman becomes a handmaid, what happens when she breaks the rules of Gilead, and of course, what happens when she gives birth. But because The Handmaid's Tale moves with slow progress, we might never see what happens when a handmaid gets old. This is because Gilead has only existed for 7 years in the show, it's unlikely we're about to see June being 60 years old or older, but thankfully, Margaret Atwood's novels provide these pieces of information. The Process of Becoming a Handmaid In The Handmaid's Tale, June is one of the first women to become a handmaid. Now, before we continue, you should keep in mind that not everything that happened in the novels The Handmaid's Tale is based on is transferred onto our screens. Nevertheless, after a woman is given the title of a handmaid, she is given three postings, spending two years at each of them. The couple that a handmaid is assigned to can decide to send the handmaid away, handmaids get all of the attention needed when they're pregnant, and this also happens during the time they give birth. The handmaids are well treated if they give birth to a wealthy child, and once the baby is weaned, the handmaid is sent to a new posting. And well, you already know that the handmaids are not allowed to see their children after they leave their postings. Hulu series perfectly described this process, and in it, we've seen some of the darkest storylines in cinema so far. But just as we previously mentioned, the show won't give away any details about its characters when they become older. If we're about to talk of June's future, our guess is that she'll end up with Nick and she'll destroy Gilead on her way to saving her daughter Hannah. If you wonder why we think she won't end up with Luke, well, it's simple. He doesn't feel the same he felt for her at the beginning of their romantic journey, June is not the same person anymore, and to be fair, no one expects her to be. After everything she's been through, after all those struggles, June has become a torturer herself, and with what happened at the very end of season 4, Luke has a brand new point of view. That's not the case with Nick, he envies June now, and we can even say they're the same. June ending Fred's life will certainly bring a lot of drama in the next season of The Handmaid's Tale, meaning that she'll now face a lot of consequences. On the other hand, there's Serena, and she'll try to make June's life a living hell. But we truly believe in a happily ever after for June and Nick, of course, they'll have to go through millions of obstacles before they're set free. In the upcoming season of The Handmaid's Tale, we'll also meet Nick's wife, a wife that was kept a secret in the previous seasons, and she's also expected to try and take June down. <laughs> An older handmaid we never saw June's first posting in the Handmaid's Tale series. Season 1 directly shows June at the Waterford's household, her second posting, and she later gives birth to Nicole, which is her first pregnancy in Gilead, second in her lifetime. A successful handmaid is one that gives birth to a child, takes good care of the child, is respectful, and bears children at her various postings. Once a handmaid goes through this process, she gets to retire. The women we see in the show are, according to Gilead, fallen women, a woman becomes handmaid if she's fertile, and she goes through hell as a way to absolve her sins. Giving birth to healthy children ensures handmaids they won't be sent to the colonies once their job is done. However, Gilead is not very forgiving, and if a handmaid breaks the rules, she's punished. One good example of this happened during season 1 of the show when Janine showed her temper. This happened when she learned what the handmaids would be doing in Gilead. After that, she's taken out of the room and fixed by having her eye removed. Handmaids are only forgiven for being fallen women if they bring children for Gilead's aristocracy. And if some of the handmaids don't bear any children, they're labeled unwomen and sent to the colonies. Also, according to Gilead's rules, a handmaid can become a wife because she has sinned. Now, fans can't help but wonder how Moira will end up in The Handmaid's Tale. Well, season 4 of the show saw June and Moira finally reunite, but it seems like we're about to see some bad things happening between them. In a recent interview, Samira Wiley, the actress that plays Moira in the series, said she thinks June and Moira's friendship has been harmed during the separation, and now Moira is expected to turn her back to June. Moira risked everything to save her friend in the previous season, and because the novel leaves us with an open end regarding Moira's future, we believe she'll be free at the very end with someone to share her freedom with. But we're always way too optimistic, so please share your own theory about what could happen to Moira at the end of The Handmaid's Tale. You pulled her away. She screamed. My baby screamed for her mother. 
Can I hope? When a handmaid is unable to get pregnant plus Luke's future. Handmaids are forgiven for being fallen women if they bear children for Gilead's lead, as we previously explained. And if a handmaid is unable to bear any children, she's then labeled unwoman and sent to the colonies. According to Gilead's rules, fallen women who become handmaids have their sins forgiven if they become pregnant and give birth. Failing to get pregnant, despite whose fault it is, simply means God didn't consider them worthy of saving. So a handmaid that is unable to give birth has a very dark future. When a handmaid retires, she's not exactly set free. In season 4, when Aunt Lydia allowed Janine to stay and work at the Red Center, was the closest storyline we saw of a handmaid being retired. It's clear that we won't see our beloved characters getting old in The Handmaid's Tale, but since Atwood's The Testaments is in the making by The Handmaid's Tale show creators, we will at least see some of the characters after 15 years of the events in The Handmaid. The story of The Testaments is based in Gilead 15 years after the events of The Handmaid's Tale. This way, we'll eventually see what happens to a handmaid once she's retired. Now let's talk about Luke. Most fans have been shipping Luke and June's relationship before they saw Luke's reactions in Season 4. When it comes to his future, some fans think he'll take baby Nicole and leave June behind in Season 5 of the show. Nicole was raised by Luke and June's best friend Moira Strand. Because June suffered trauma, Luke noticed she wasn't the same as she had become overtaken by her need for revenge on Fred. We should also mention that Season 5 is speculated to be the last one, and if that's the case, we should expect things to move as quickly as possible. Nevertheless, there's also a theory that suggests Luke and Moira will run away with June's daughter. In an interview with Metro.co.uk, actor O.T. Fag Bentley talked about his character and the things he experienced with June. He admitted, Luke's also looking after a young baby, and so sharing a house with someone who he doesn't know how to predict her actions is terrifying. In the last scenes of Season 4, Luke stepped into Nicole's room where he saw bloody June cradling her baby. He then dropped to the ground to control his tears before June tells him to leave. Just give me five minutes, okay? Just give me five minutes, Linda. Is there any chance we could see Luke on the run with baby Nicole in the future of The Handmaid's Tale? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching, guys.